Chapter 12 Pull of the Earth Introduction We know that a force is required to move or stop any moving object. Consider following examples of motions. Throw a ball in upward direction. Observe what happens. The ball reaches a certain height and then falls downwards. During rainy season, the raindrops fall straight on the surface of the earth. Fruits fall to the ground when they get detached from the plant. Which force is responsible for bringing the ball, raindrops and fruits down to the earth? Objects or things fall down to the earth because the earth pulls them. The force applied by the earth to bring the objects down is called gravitational force. Gravitation A force is exerted by the earth on an object due to which it is attracted towards the earth. This was discovered by Sir Isaac Newton. There is a small anecdote related to this. Newton was sitting under a tree when an apple fell on him. The fall of the apple made Newton to think. He pondered on the force responsible for its fall towards the earth's surface. He thought that if apple is attracted towards the earth, then why it cannot get attracted towards the moon? Is the force same in both the cases? Newton observed that all bodies are attracted by the earth towards its center by some force, which he named as gravitational force. Newton generalized this idea and stated that gravity is not a property of the earth alone. In fact, every particle in the universe attracts every other object. He studied motion of the moon around the earth. The moon rotates around the earth in a circular orbit. The moon falls towards the earth under the action of gravitational force but due to its horizontal velocity it moves in circular orbit. Let us try to understand the motion of the moon by an activity. Take a piece of thread. Tie a small stone at one end. Hold the other end of the thread and whirl it around. Release the thread. What do you observe? The stone moves in a circular path with a certain speed and changes direction at every point. At every moment, it has a velocity along the tangent. The change in direction involves change in velocity and hence the acceleration. Thus the stone is accelerated towards the center. The force that causes this acceleration and keeps the body moving along the circular path is acting towards the center along the string. This force is called the centripetal means center seeking force. When we release the thread, the stone flies off because there will not be any centripetal force acting on it. The motion of the moon around the earth is due to the centripetal force. The centripetal force is provided by the force of attraction of the earth. If there was no such force, the moon would pursue a uniform straight line motion. It is seen that a falling apple is attracted towards the earth. Does the apple attract the earth? If so, we do not see the earth moving towards an apple. Why? The apple does attract the earth with equal force. But according to the second law of motion, for a given force, acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of an object.
the mass of an apple is negligibly small compared to that of the earth hence the acceleration of the apple is very large compared that produced in earth so we do not see the earth moving towards the apple in the same way earth does not move towards the moon in our solar system all the planets go around the sun therefore there exists a force between the sun and the planets this force of attraction between objects is called the gravitational force newton's law of gravitation is also known as universal law of gravitation